Hello. Bonjour. Um, given I have some time on my hands, I thought I'd teach myself French. <laughs> uh, bonjour apparently is the French word for bonjour. Okay, today I want to talk about triage. Triage is a, another French sounding word, I'm afraid. Um, it means to prioritise things in a state of emergency. Now, obviously, medically, we're in a, a situation where we need to make sensible, prioritised decisions. We need to obey what um, stuff's been put forward, follow the advice, and prevent the situation by get, from getting worse by making rational decisions. It's perfectly reasonable to triage your society medically. What is happening aside from this is that the markets, the financial markets, are about to triage the whole of the economy for no reason whatsoever. Now when you triage your economy, which uh, I don't think has ever really been done like this before, what you do is you go through the economy and go, right, well, that one won't survive, that one will survive, that one won't survive, that one will survive. Um, that person will be able to pay, that person won't be able to pay. That person can get treatment, that person will get dosed up with morphine and left to uh, die in the corner because uh, we can't realistically do anything about it. Now, the call from the very big people is you've got to save us. The airlines, you've got to save us, you've got to save us. Um, all the time there isn't any flying around, there isn't any airlines, so a triage decision might be, well, okay, we won't save them because actually, what can we do? Should we pay them to fly empty planes, which I see one or two of them have done, have been doing to try and null and void people's insurance. Good on you guys, thanks for that. Social responsibility. Um, or do we actually say, <clears throat> do we really need to triage our uh, economy? I'm a great fan of MASH. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember that, but two days ago, someone in the uh, White House press conference mentioned setting up mesh uh, mobile army surgical hospitals uh, around the country. And it made me think about how do you do that for um, financial organisations? The bottom line, as the market pro is proving, is that it is not possible for the government to step in and B, everything else. It can't be done. There is no amount of money that the government can uh, print, make up, borrow, that will fill in that gap. The question here isn't whether that works or it doesn't, because clearly it doesn't, and it will never work. The question is, why do you need to bother to do it? In MASH, the old helicopter used to come in, you'd have Hawkeye and Honeycutt there sitting drinking beers and hooch and whatever. Winchester trying to shag old uh, hot lips and radar would come over and say incoming incoming and everyone would run out and they deal with the emergency but in the financial sector you don't need to do that because you don't need to make this into an emergency the only thing that makes this into an emergency is that you decide that you're going to allow creditors to collect on debt now let me explain what that means uh, a creditor is someone who owns something and a debtor is someone who doesn't. Someone who owns a house is a creditor. Someone who has to pay rent on it is a debtor. Uh, someone who has a loan, is a, um, owns a loan, the person who has to pay it back is a debtor. Right. So our society is built on the idea that we pay interest. Right. And what happens to a, uh, a company like an airline is it's not the fact that the planes can't fly that is going to kill them. It's the fact that the person who's lent them the money to buy the planes that can't fly is legally allowed to go, I want my money back. I want my money back. I need my money back. You don't need a job. I need my money back. Now, the way we've got the system set up at the moment is that legally, I want my money back, gets to take their money back, and you don't have an airline. I want my money back means you get kicked out of your house. I want my money back means your business is gone. There is no legal need or requirement to do that. All we need to do is follow sensible, logical financial steps. Suspend the 
payment of all interest. Make it illegal to charge interest. Uh, strange enough, it's not legal to do it in the Islamic world, but that's, another, that's a story for another day. Don't allow people to charge interest. Do not allow people to foreclose. Do not allow people to evict people. Rent is just another form of interest. Do not, I want my money back, ruin our society and our economy. We're all taking the steps we need to take. What needs to happen here is the governments need to get into the market, shut down the stock exchange, shut down the futures exchanges on commodities and on interest rates before we get what is already happening, a credit slump where the price of money just goes completely out the window, commodity corners where the price of raw goods goes through the roof and people haven't got any money to buy them, but because people are in lockdown there is less supply, so we end up with a number of people trying to chase around a limited number of goods and the price goes up through the roof. Now what is happening at the moment is the speculators are in the market having already filled their pockets selling shares they don't own on the stock market. Now in the commodity markets, cornering uh, essentials that you and I will need in three or four months' time. The government is our government. Our laws are our laws. They're not some written in stone thing. The government has already said they can and will take extraordinary measures. These are the measures they need to take. Shut the stock exchange. It's simple. It keeps fucking trying to shut itself. If you haven't watched, it keeps hitting limit down. Shut the stock exchange. Bring back calm and order. Shut the debt market. Suspend for the period of this emergency all charging of all interest rates in all forms. Suspend the legal right to get your money back. Hold off, guys. It's a national emergency. It's not your money. It's people's lives that are at stake here. It's people's livelihoods. It's people's houses. It's people's children. It's not your money. I seem to be getting on with that one, don't I? Mm. Um, I think I've about said what I can on that one. I'm going to leave you with this um, piece of good news, right? Because <laughs> it's quite funny. There's always something good in something bad. Um, for, for years now, we've all been trying to work out. You know when you meet someone, you're like... In France, or where, where like, um, we go in France, they do it three times. Some places in Italy, it's four. Uh, now, guys, you don't have to worry about that. Just the simple elbow will do. No... <laughs> Who said there are no upsides to coronavirus, eh? God almighty, we're all socially singing from the same sheet. Apart from some people! I've got to go now. Um, quite what I'm going to do today, God alone knows. Have fun out there. Keep alive.